Hello, Book Foxes! Welcome back to At the Book Fox Summaries, where we simplify books for your busy life one summary at a time. Today, we're diving into a powerful novel that captures the harsh realities of life during the Great Depression. What does it mean to fight for survival when everything is taken from you? Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath shows us the answer. Here at At the Book Fox Summaries, we break down the world's greatest books, giving you all the information you need to decide whether to dive into the full story. John Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath, published in 1939, has sold millions of copies worldwide and is considered one of the greatest American novels of all time. The novel falls into the genres of historical fiction and social commentary and won the Pulitzer Prize in 1940, National Book Award for Fiction, 1939, California Book Award for General Literature, Silver, 1939, Audi Award for Classic, 1999. Set during the Great Depression, The Grapes of Wrath follows the Jode family, who are forced to leave their Oklahoma farm due to economic hardships caused by the Dust Bowl. Tom Jode, recently paroled, returns home to find his family packing up for a journey west to California hoping for a better life. The family encounters immense hardships on the road and in California, including the death of loved ones, poor living conditions, and exploitative labor practices. The dream of prosperity in California turns into a fight for survival as they struggle to find work and maintain their dignity. Let's talk about the key characters. First, Tom Jode, who starts as a self-focused man but grows into a symbol of change and justice. His character arc is central to the novel's message. Then we have Ma Jode, the family's rock. Her strength and compassion hold the Jodes together even in the darkest times. And finally, Jim Casey, the former preacher who serves as a spiritual guide for Tom. His teachings about collective action and sacrifice deeply influence the story. Now let's discuss some of the major themes Steinbeck explores. The struggle for survival. The Jode family's journey highlights the stark divide between the wealthy landowners and the desperate migrants. Steinbeck emphasizes the dehumanizing conditions they face, showing how systemic injustice pushes people to their limits, human dignity. Despite the brutal conditions, Steinbeck's novel is ultimately about the resilience of the human spirit. The Jodes never give up on their fight for dignity, even in the face of overwhelming odds. Collective action and unity. Steinbeck also argues that only through unity can the oppressed fight against exploitation. This is symbolized through Jim Casey's philosophy, which resonates with Tom as he takes on a larger role in standing up for justice. The themes of the Grapes of Wrath remain deeply relevant today, as we continue to see economic inequality and the struggles of marginalized communities. The novel serves as a reminder of the importance of empathy and collective action. Personally, I found Ma Jode's strength inspiring. Her ability to hold the family together while facing unimaginable hardship was a reminder of the importance of resilience and love in times of crisis. To wrap it up, The Grapes of Wrath is more than just a story of one family's struggle. It's a searing critique of the economic and social inequalities that plagued America during the Great Depression and still resonate today. If you're a fan of stories about human endurance and social justice, this is definitely a book to pick up. If you enjoyed this summary, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on more book summaries. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on The Grapes of Wrath. Have you read it? What did you think? And here's a bonus tip for those who made it to the end. If you're interested in To Kill a Mockingbird, check out our summary of it. It's another novel that tackles themes of justice and inequality. If this book aligns with your interests, you can grab your copy through the links in the description. You can choose between the paperback version or the hardcover version. We earn a small commission from your purchase, which helps support the channel and allows us to bring more book summaries to you. Thank you for your support. Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. If you enjoyed this summary, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life, and let's keep the conversation going in the comments.
hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Book Simplified, Minds Amplified, see you in the next summary.